Cal Deem. The brand new Magic Standard set is officially out. Um, we have trolls and giants and elves and all sorts of new shit in this new set. As always, it's your boy, Justin Time Carter, and today I'll be opening not one, not two, three. And I also have some additional boosters. I um, I get all my magic cards from Desert Sky Games. They usually have really good deals and stuff for pre-ordering new sets. So they threw in two extra boosters per pre-release pack that we got. So we're going to be opening these. I also have a draft booster box that we're going to be opening in a different video. So let's crack into these bad boys. See if we can't pull some epic cards. Let's get started. All right, we got our handy dandy cutting tool. So, and remember with these pre-release packs, not only do we get a dice in each of them, but we also get a special pre-release card as well. So our dice here, we got Bad boy, oh, damn it. We don't wanna, we don't wanna see. We're gonna put the pre-release cards off to the side, so uh, we'll open those at the very end of the video. Got our six. Pack one. There's some pretty good Planeswalkers in this new set. There's a lot of good Saga cards have made a return along with Snow Islands and stuff like that. So we got Bird Strider. Raven Hulk, Gold Ma Champion, Mists of Little Jara, Horizon Seeker, Coma's Faithful, Shackles of Treachery, Elderleaf Mentor, Frostbite. This is a snow instant, so like I was telling you earlier, there's snow cards in this set that you're gonna see so those require usually snow lands and stuff and you'll see a little snow symbol hey speaking of snow symbols like this boral outrider see this little snow symbol means that whenever you cast a creature spell if snow mana of any mana's colors so uh we got frost auger Ooh, invasion of giants this is one of the new sagas that plays around giants and stuff very nice and our rare is Mystic Reflection and a Snow Mountain Forest with, ooh, wait, ah, Rune of Might, a holographic uncommon with a foretell token. Next. So this set just came out on Friday, so pretty brand new. I'm not sure. I'm sure the prices are going to fluctuate some here and there. We got Battlefield Raptor, Berg Strider, Seize the Spoils, The Champ, Dread Rider, Not, not Vold Recluse, Bound in Gold, Shackles of Treachery, we have a sure like getting that fucking one. Elder Leaf Mentor, Rune of Might, Rune of Sustenance. Ooh, Finn, Fang Bear. This is actually a pretty good uncommon. Uh, poison counters are back in standard magic and stuff, so you can poison people out now. Ooh, and our rare is Battle of Frost and Fire. Very nice. With a Swamp Forest and a Hollow Common, Coma's Faithful, and a Dwarf Berserker. Next. I decided, you know what? I got rid of the piles. So I want you guys to be able to see my sexy new playmat that I got, which I also got at Desert Sky Games. I saw it sitting on the counter there, and I was like, can I buy this? And the guy was like, you bet your ass you can fucking buy this. And I was like, dude, take my money. We got Tursky Firewalker, Axard Braggart, Jasper Sentinel, Elderfang Disciple, a Revitalize, Raider's Caravan, 
squash, one of my favorite vegetables, grizzled outrider, we got blind the monster, starheen courser, frostpire arcanist, this is a pretty good giant in the new set, it costs less for if you have giants on the field. Emerson Skullcaren. There's also new uncommon lands and stuff in this set. They're, they all look okay. I don't see anything too crazy. Rune of Speed. And our rare is Fire's Retribution with a snow covered mountain and a treasure token. Next pack. All right, let's see what we got. Miss of Little Jara, Hagi Mob, Master Sklad, Jaspera Sentinel, Priest of the Hunted Edge, Invoke the Divine, Sarluf's Packmate. I have four of those. Jarl of the Forsaken. Open the Om Paths. Raven Wings, another one of these uncommon lands, Axard's Armory, ooh, look at this, damn dude, that's pretty sick looking, look at this, uh, we got another Flynn, but it has cool alternate art and stuff, I really dig this art style that they got going on there, Crush the Weak, and our rare, Crippling Fear, with a snow-covered mountain, and... A human warrior next again it was a double next just like that show on MTV where there's a bunch of fucking bros in a bus all trying to bang some chick depart the realm Emerson Raider Valor of the Worthy Little Jar Knit Seekers Guardian Glade Walker Village Rites, it's a pretty sick art for a reprint. Mast Vandal. Run Ashore. Vault Robber. Iron Verdict. Trickster God's Heist. Blizzard Brawl. Nefari Betrayer King. And our rare is Calamity Bearer with a snow-covered island and a jump card. Fuck. Get out of here. It's There we go. Last pack in this pre-release pack here. No Mythic so far. Uh, very interesting that we haven't gotten a single Mythic yet. Hopefully, uh... A little bit of luck here. Give us a little luck, boys. Draugr, Thought Thief, Run Amok, Wings of the Cosmos, Guardian, Glade Walker, Elder Fang, Disciple, Mammoth Growth, Raven Form, Bound in Gold, Feed the Serpent, Rune of Sustenance, Weathered Runestone, Little Jar of Mirror Lake, and Trinite Sanctum. Adds a colorless and target legendary creature becomes a god in addition to its other types and it gets a 1-1 counter. That's pretty good. You can sack it to put an indestructible counter on target god. Alright, that's pretty nice. Ice Tunnel. Ooh, that's pretty nice. The Foileon, that's really nice. Raider's Crave, and a Zombie Berserker. Next, Caldeem Box. We didn't get any Mythics in that first one, boys, but hopefully next one, do you, what, what color do you think the dice is? Maybe blue? Oh, we got the red. Oh, it's kind of cool. It has blue in it. I'll take that. And uh, slip this out. Slip these out. First pack of the second pre-release pack. 
Oh, get a mythic or something cool. Get an epic. We need epic card. We got the braggart. We got depart the realm. Immersum raider. Village rights. Glittering frost. Bind the monster. Starnheim courser. Scorn effigy. Roots of wisdom. Smashing success. Ooh, forging the trinite sword. That's really pretty. Provoke the trolls. <laughs> Thanks, Reddit. Not bold slumberin' and blood on the snow. <laughs> it looks like the season one of Game of Thrones. Am I right, guys? Choose one. Destroy all creatures. Destroy all planeswalkers. Or return target creature or planeswalker. That's pretty cool. Arctic tree line with an ice manolith. Next pack. Again. Give me a fucking mythic, dude. We haven't gotten shit. Master Slade. Drogart. Thought Thief. Run amok. Mammoth Growth. Elder Fang Disciple. Scarf's Packmate. Jarl the Forsaken, Open the Omnaths, Raven Wings, Struggle for Skimfar, Ooh, Great Hall of Starfeam, Crotter's Vicious Return, Dwarven Hammer, Oh my god, finally, Toloth, God of Fury, we got our first Mythic. It's a god that is also uh, an equipment. Pretty cool. Snow-covered swamp. And some treasure. The true treasure was... Next Arena. We have... The Gold Ma Champion, Miss of Little Jara, Haggy Mob, Draugr Recruiter, Mammoth Growth, Frost Peak Yeti, Jarl the Forsaken, Raven Wings, Rise the Draugr, Revoke the Divine, Axnard Armory, Ooh, another fin. I don't mind getting fin. And it's sexy art fin, too. Sexy. Crush the weak. And a calamity bear. Didn't we already get one of these? It's a giant, so I'll take it. Snow covered mountain. With an elf warrior. Yeah. Pop a pack. I'm sweating. We have. Bergstrider, Seize the Spoils, Gold Maw Champion, Coma's Faithful, Mammoth Growth, Dwarven Reinforcements, Raise the Draugr, Frost Peak Yeti, Invoke the Divine, Saltoff's Packmate, Arnie Slays the Troll, I always do like these sagas. The art on here is really cool. It's really cool seeing a full art card like that. Port of Karen. Ooh, we got a different uh, fancy uncommon. Maji Br Bertig Protector. And Icebreaker Karen is our rare. Volatile Fjord. And... A zombie berserker. Second to last pack. We've only gotten one mythic so far, but I think we've gotten some pretty decent rares. Undersea Invader. Seize the Spoils. Battlefield Raptor. Not Volt Recluse. Death Kneel Berserker. Invoke the Divine. Dwarven Reinforcements, Annual, Struggle for Skimfar, Funeral Longboat, 
Nico defies destiny. Poison the cup. Hey, look, it's uh, Joffrey at the end of that one season of Game of Thrones. The Colossal Plow. And god damn, dude. And, like, this is pretty cool, but there's so many other fucking rares. Volatile Fjord. Whoa, this is worthless. Last pack of pre release pack two. I've kind of been debating getting a, uh, a book to kind of sleeve the cards to kind of collect them, but I also play with them, so I'm not really sure what I want to do. Story Seeker, Undersea Invader, Craven Hulk, Death Neil Berserker, Broken Wings, Roots of Wisdom, Smashing Success, Karen Fell. Valkyrie, Mistwalker, Weathered Runestone, Bloodline Pretender, Valkyrie Sword, ooh, okay, new rare, Egon, God of Death, and it's also a Throne of Death, Arctic Tree Line, and a junk card. Last and final pre-release pack. Here, this time I'm not gonna fucking reveal what the rare card is. We we got a peek at the mana symbols on the last two. All right, another black and white. Very cool. First pack. Last pre-release. I've gotten disappointing low amount of mythics. We need more. We need some good pools here. Run amok. Wings of the Cosmos. Mass Vandal. Skull Raid. Struggle for Skimfar, Annual, Ravenous Lindworm, Squash, Raiders Carve, Behold the Multiverse, Hey Doctor Strange, Gates of Istenfell, Weathered Runestone, Bloodline Pretender, and Essika's Chariot, Legendary Artifact Vehicle, Creates Cats, and he makes more cats. Glacial Floodplain. And a Human Warrior. Next. I love opening magic cards. Breakneck Berserker. Warhorn Blast. Miss of Little Jara. Grim Draugr. Snakeskin Veil, Demon Bolt, Iron Verdict, Dogged Pursuit, Run Ashore Together, ooh, that's nice art, that's new uncommon that we got there, the Freezing Flame, Forge Master, we got the Frost Pyre, ooh, Fancy Rare, Jorn, God of Winter, Whenever Jorn attacks, untap each snow permanent, and it's also, na na, the Rhyme Staff, with a snow-covered swamp, and Priest of the Haunted Edge, holographic, with a junk card. Hi Billy Who, Kaladim we do. Brian Barrow Intruder, Tuskery Firewalker, Valor of the Worthy, Depart the Realm, Glittering Frost, Demonic Gifts, Snake and Veil, Funeral Longboat, Sculptor of Winter, Shackles of Treachery, Valkyrie Sword, Rune of Might, Rune of Sustenance, and 
God flavored. What does God taste like? Legendary human warrior, flash, first strike, protection from God creatures. All right, when it enters the battlefield, exiles to one target attacking or blocking creature. Cool. With a snow covered forest and a zombie. Three more packs to go. Little Jara, Cinderheart Giant, Story Seeker, Dread Rider, N Recluse, Drotter Recruiter, Demon Bolt, Sculptor of Winter, Shackles of Treachery, Path to the World Tree, the Mortar Frost, Giant's Amulet, and our rare is Runeforge Champion. With Sulfurous Mire. Ooh. Man, dude, the foil. I will say, like, so if you didn't watch the video before this one or whatever, um, well, okay, not the Commander Legends one, but the Zendikar Rising one with the fucked up foils. Foiling on this is, it's a little warped. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely, I think the foiling's way better than um, it previously was. Second to last pack. Uh, I realized too we haven't hit a world tree yet, which world tree is one of the rare lands in this. That's probably one of the better rares. <clears throat> Amber Storm Raider, Doom Star Oracle, Karen Halbringer, King's Herald Revenge, Grim Draugr, Undersea Invader, Craven Hulk. Battlefield Raptor, the Strider, Seize the Spoils, Colossal Plow, <laughs> hey, I had a couple of those, Not Vild, uh, Frost Augur, alright, Eradicator Valkyrie, another fucking mythic finally, 4 mana, 4 3, Angel Berserker, Fly, Lifelink, and Hexproof from Planeswalkers. Pretty good. Snow covered mountain. Fuck you. Last pack from the pre release pack. Uh, and then we'll open our three pre release cards and then we'll finish off with the six extra boosters that came with my pre release packs Strategic Planning, God's Hall, or Horizon Seeker. The Faithful, Blind the Monster, Roots of Wisdom, we got the Starheem, Smashing Success, that's what this video is, Infernal Pet, Mistwalker, Glimpse the Cosmos, Doomstalker Titan, we got the Doom Scourge, oh man. A way to end fucking strong. Look at this full art fucking haunting voyage. I uh, it's probably not worth a lot, but it looks sexy. With a snow covered mountain and a junk card. All right, kids. Here are our three pre-release cards. I already took them out of the plastic, so you didn't have to watch me struggle like a child with that. But I did not look at them. So let's see what we got. All right, Hollow Mythic, Battle Mana. That's pretty good. 6-5 for 5 mana, Trample. Very pretty. We got a Hollow Bird, the Draugr Necromancer. The Zombie Cleric. Very cool. And our final pre-release, In Search of Greatness. That's actually not a bad, out of all the rares, besides World Tree to probably get, this is probably pretty good. I've heard this may or may not be a busted card in Standard, so I'm pretty happy with that. So then, all in all, here's what we pulled from the three pre-release packs. We got, we ended with one, two, three, uh, four Mythics. Yeah, four mythics, 
Um, and I, I think some pretty solid rares and stuff. We got the alternate art. This vehicle's pretty good. Um, there's, I think Blood in the Snow is okay. But yeah, I mean, I don't think we did insane, but I think we did pretty good. Now let's uh, check out our six booster packs. All right, booster pack one. It's like we got almost a fourth pre-release. Master Scalder, Disdainful Stroke, Wither Crown, Broken Wings, Invoke the Divine, Dwarven Reinforcements, Annual, Struggle for Skimfar, Funeral Longboat, Ravenous Lindworm, Return Upon the Tide, Kaya's Onslaught, Cauldron Spirit, and Tundra Fumul. With a snow covered forest and a manolith. Next Areno. For this one, I'm going to try being ultra quiet so we don't scare the mythic away. Ready? <sighs> Starting now. Fucking said something, didn't you? Faceless Haven, Snowland, with Alpine Meadow, and a Hollow Hawk, and a Welcome to Arena card. Next pack! Give me a fucking World Tree. I want a World Tree. Warnhorn, Misty Labibble, a Haggy Mob. Ice Hide Troll, Draugr Recruit, Raven Form, Giant Ox, Sculptor of Winter, Feed the Serpent, Colossal Plow, Mortal Outrider, Frost Augur, hey, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. It's a rare, and it has the fun, cool art on it. We like that. With a snow covered forest and a hollow uncommon skimfar shadow sage and a zomboy. Next. God's Hall Guardian. Strategic planning. Fearless pup. I got four of those. Story seeker. Demonic gifts. Ice hide troll. Dogged Pursuit, Frostbite, Run Ashore, Sun uh, Pyre, that's the Trinite Sword, Provoke the Trolls, King the Fairy's Betrayal is our rare with a Snow Covered Mountain and a Hollow Uncommon. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. With a Comus Coil. Fuck. Next. Second to last pack. If the camera looks any different at all, it's because I am fucking stupid. Knocked over the camera. Oh, what a cuck. Pilfered Hawk. Tormentor's. Heim, Berserk Shieldmate, Broken Wings, Skull Raid, Dwarven Reinforcements, Rise of the Draugr, Frost Peak Yeti, Invoke the Divine, the Packmate, Hailstorm Valkyrie, Path to the World Tree, Path to the World Tree, come on, take us there. Crippling Fear. With the treasure. 
and a snow covered mountain. Last pack. One shot, one opportunity. Mom Spaghetti, he's nervous. We got Valor of the Worthy, the Little Jar Kin Seeker, Cinderheart Giant, Doomstar Oracle, Masked Vandal, Demonic Gifts, they got the, the pick, Way Down. <laughs> it's way down. Frostbite. We got the Runestone. We got the Mirror Lake. Usher the Fallen. Mask Wood Nexus. Creatures you control are every creature type. With a snow covered island. A snow covered hollow plains. Nice. And a junk card. All right, kids, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys had fun watching me open the three pre-release packs. I had fun opening them, along with our six additional boosters. I really want to thank Desert Sky Games for always giving such a good deal. That's why I drive all the way out to fucking BFE Chandler, is because instead of going to the game store that's literally three minutes away from me, I drive 40 minutes out there because I like them over there. And in the next video, we're going to be opening this bad boy. So hopefully our world tree is hiding in here somewhere. But thank you guys for watching. And when in doubt, pinky out.